Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Now today, I wanna to talk about some stuff that went on on the market because we got some big time SBCs today, some new weekly objectives, and there were a lot of market movements today because of what happened inside of the game. And obviously the biggest thing that we got today and the biggest thing that really shook up the game content wise today was the middle icon upgrade SBC. And really, we're gonna go take a look at a couple of flipping graphs here in a second, but this SBC is decently priced based off of the value of the cards that you're getting in return. If we go take a look at Footbin right now, and we see that the Thierry Henry SBC is about 3 million coins, that's a bit overpriced. The Robin SBC is 900K, which I think is overpriced. And then they dropped the mid icon upgrade, which is 300 and 43,000 coins. And we haven't even looked at how high the high rateds are yet. If we go look at the cheapest players by rating, look at some of the higher rated cards. 86s are almost 30,000 coins. 87s are at 35. 88s are over 45K. And 89s are almost 60,000 coins. That is ridiculous. Those cards are so expensive right now. And this SBC, SBC still manages to be around 350,000 coins. Uh, this was the biggest bang for your buck SBC that, that, that they dropped today um, by far. And all those people who invested in high rated golds, I knew that I said I wasn't going to be doing that. Um, I should have done it when the uh, when EA dropped the middle icon SBC code into the game. Um, but again, I was still, the whole promo had been very lackluster SBC value. I mean, a lot of the stuff you were paying a lot of coins for to get those cards, and that didn't change today except for this SBC. So this is really why the market took off today. Um, you saw some panic selling because of this SBC. A lot of high rated golds were down. If you look at my transfer list, I didn't have a ton of time to look at stuff and to buy stuff today, but I bought a few high rated golds. Um, I kind of focused on stuff that was out of packs uh, with the Bales and the Pogba's, um, but I got a couple of De Bruyne, got a couple of Conte as well, just because those are very meta. And they went up a lot this Thursday uh, into Friday for, for rewards flipping. Uh, so I figured they could rebound back tonight. They haven't rebounded too much yet, but if I can sell these cards where I have them listed, I'm making somewhere around 10 to 15K cards. So that is uh, a very nice profit. But EA releasing these SBCs and the way that they released it was so, so smart. Now, first of all, I want to talk about this Robin, the Flashback Robin SBC. Right now, it's valued at 950,000 coins for this card. But this card has been something that everybody in FIFA has been looking forward to this entire year. Everybody in FIFA has been waiting and waiting for a flashback Robin. Now it isn't a flashback, uh, it's like the special SBC version or I forget what the actual name of this card type. Premium Squad Building Challenge, it's right there on the screen for me to see it. Premium Squad Building Challenge version of Robin and the stats on this card are insane. I mean this is a ridiculous card. But paying this many coins for it, I think is just it's just way too high. But so many people have been looking forward to this card that I think they're doing this SBC. And if we if we saw the high rated gold prices, that's what this SBC requires. You need a couple 87 rated squads, uh, an 86 and an 85 with some uh, some country and some uh, team requirements in there. But that's just another way that high rated were required today. So they dropped that SBC, which I actually think people are doing just because of the fact that. Uh, that card is just so popular and it's something that everybody has wanted to do and they dropped that alongside of the the base or the middle icon upgrade which honestly uh, I'll probably do one just to try it out but I wouldn't recommend doing too much more than that because it is very cheap now saying that and looking at prices earlier today I want to take a look at the icon floor now I don't see this as an investment too much anymore especially after they've started to drop some of these uh, big boy icons they really haven't been, the Icon Moments SBCs, they really haven't been requiring a lot of icons. You see that the Icon floor is right now like a 310K with one popped up there at 305. I don't even know if this is a feasible way to invest right now because you had Henri come out today who's valued at 3 million coins per his SBC, which again, you have to think about this price that shows over here um, on, on Footbin is maybe a little bit inflated right now based on what they want it to be because this card, once the high rated golds drop down, see 3.33 million coins for this SBC, but once the high rated golds drop down, I bet this SBC dips into the 2.9 range. Um, so that makes it a lot easier. I think you still only need one icon 
uh, for this SBC if I am thinking correctly, but you just need so many high rated so you need 288 rated squads 287s 286s um, So I don't think a lot of people are gonna actually end up doing this Henri SBC um, And it honestly doesn't make me want to invest in high rate or in icons in like a base uh, in the baby icons the lowest um, With those cards we just looked at, at 300k. I don't think I want to invest in those because I don't even know if they could go up. The only reason they would go up if, is if I saw SBCs requiring two or three icons. But it looks like right now that everybody, that EA is just requiring more and more high rated squads and more informs instead of adding in more icons as the requirement. So this is how they get you. And this is why EA is so smart about this. They get you because you think, okay, I can go drop 350 to 400,000 coins ish on this baby or this middle icon upgrade SBC. So you do the middle icon upgrade SBC, maybe you get somebody you like, maybe you don't. You think, okay, I'll have that card for an SBC. Well, instead of um, maybe using that as a proper, as a not a proper, but uh, almost a way of getting a cheaper icon than what is they're going for on the market, yes, you could get a Pele, you could get a Eusebio, but the chances of that are very low you're probably getting an icon that is in the 300 to 400,000 coin range, but it's doing you no more good than what one of these 300,000 coin icons are because you're going to submit that into an SBC. So basically you're turning in 350,000 coins when you could be spending 300 on an icon like this. But where they also get you is they're only requiring one icon. So you do this SBC, you do the middle icon SBC and you're thinking to yourself, I'm getting, this is helping me do an icon for a lot cheaper because I'm getting this uh, this middle tier icon, whether it's good or not, I'll have him to turn into an SBC, right? Yeah, I'll have him to turn into an SBC. But when these SBCs only require one icon and 300,000 coins of that SBC value is an icon and 3 million worth is in high rated golds and informs, you're not really saving yourself any money because you're still doing 90% of the SBC is in high rated gold. It's the, the cost of the SBC isn't really dependent on whether it has an icon in it or not. Now last year when they brought out primer icons like Hullet and like R9, I think R9 required like five icons or something like that. That is when these cards went up. Last year I think Hullet required three, two or three. Um, and then they dropped Maldini who required a couple and then R9 came out at that same time during foot birthday. So there was a lot of icon requirements and that's why I was looking this year to see if those cards would be a good investment, but they haven't been, and the high rated golds have been the best investment, just because of the fact of how EA are doing these SBCs. And that's why SBC requirements and investing for SBCs, if you're into that and you like doing that, recognizing those trends uh, is very, very important. Now again, this, is, this comes back to the thing where EA is ultimately in control of these SBCs. Maybe for Hullet, they, they bring out Hullet, they only require an 83, 4, 85, 86, 87, and 88 rated squad, but you need three icons. Now, people are going to think, oh, there's so little squads there, but you're going to have to get those icons into it. I don't think they will. I think EA wants to suck as many coins off the market as possible, so they're going to release. Uh, I think we're going to get a big icon today, uh, and that's why I'm, I want to talk about that here in just a second, but I think the high rated golds are going to stay high. So if you have those cards, keep listing them for lazies. There's no real hurry to sell just yet. Obviously, you want to sell them uh, in the next day or two, but wait and see what kind of icon we get today because I think we're going to get a big boy icon um, today, Saturday, on FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, I think it's going to be a big boy. So just have your coins ready for that. I think a lot of people suck their coins into, into SBCs today. But... Uh, I think people are also still prepared and ready to go if one, if an R10, an R9, uh, Eusebio, a Cruyff, or a Hullet would come out um, today um, onto the market. So again, if you want to do this middle icon upgrade SBC, I don't think it's that terrible to do it just once. And I would just say do it just once, twice at the most. If you're somebody who has well over a million coins and you want to test your luck and you're okay with getting somebody bad, um, that's what you really have to um, kind of think about you're probably not going to get one of those good cards if you're really okay with getting somebody that's just bang average then go for it take a shot at it I'm gonna take a shot at it because I have a lot of coins right now I'm feeling pretty good um, I'm making a decent amount of coins even though my trading hasn't been the best um, I feel like this market in the next week or so looks like it's gonna go up so I can afford to spend 300k I'll be able to make that here in the next week or so 
um, with the market heading up out of this promo. So watch that for sure. And then also tomorrow, if we get a big time icon SBC, watch the panic sell, um, especially later in the day into the evening as the weekend league selling uh, begins to happen. I mean, we're gonna be looking at special cards. We're gonna be looking at these foot birthday cards as investments as well. Um, we really saw the carnival cards kind of take off this week. And that was basically what I think that's got, what the carnival cards have done in the past two weeks, I think is what's gonna happen with these foot birthday cards. So we're gonna go to take a look at the carnival squad. Um, right now, we saw Gabriel Jesus right there, 430,000 coins. A lot of these cards are, are up. Mertens is at 426, Bonucci is at 84, Muller is at 74k. On Wednesday, he was 60. Crazy, that's incredible return on that card. Um, Neymar is up like 200k, Yoris is high, Bellerin is high. All these cards have rebounded very nicely out of packs. It's always that second week after they go out of packs is when they really, really hit their mark. So we'll look at Bonucci's graph because he's a uh, fairly affordable card. I know he is a little, little bit more rare on Xbox, but you see him here at 70k. Uh, impacts right at the end, he was 69, 68k. You still see he's about the same price here or this week. And then boom, he really takes off this next week. So how's it going to work out with Foot Birthday? I think it's going to work out the same. A lot of these cards are not very popular. They're just not very good. Like the Van Dyke card. Nobody wants to play Van Dyke at CDM. You want to play Van Dyke at uh, center back. Um, Salat, left back, I see this card dropping a lot. I just don't really feel like it's a great card to be put there. Unless you have a center mid that you're going to position swap in game and then move Salat up front. I don't really see that card as a great investment. Um, but some cards that I do see as a very good investment is this Marcelo. And now he has dropped today, but this card is very rare on the market. He's under 500k on Xbox and he's dropped uh, like 20%, 10, not 20%, about 10% today alone. There were no lightning rounds today. This was just people panic selling their investments that they may had or panic selling the card in their team to go do these SPCs. So tonight what we're seeing on the market might be one of the lowest times we see with these cards. I'm going to hold out until tomorrow. I'm still expecting a big SPC. And I do think we'll have a little bit more of a panic sell on these cards if you guys do want to invest in them or get one for your team coming out of this promo. Now I want to take a look at a few cards that I think could rebound the best and wow as I look at these cards these some of these prices are ridiculous Pavard I think is still kind of high right now if you see that card at 80,000 coins that's a big time buy a French right back Lala Lala has been the best French right back this entire year Pavard kind of gives him some competition Vitzel at 119k I think is very cheap this Walker card is going to rise back up in the hype because we have Alexander Arnold who you can play over Walker get a nice link there. People will try that card. This Monier card is interesting to me. He's got great stats. I don't know how he plays in game. I want to kind of get some information on that. If you've used any of these cards that have really stood out to you, let me know down below because I like to hear about how cards perform in game. Promes is very good and he's a very cheap and affordable option on the right wing in the um, in La Liga and he's very popular. Five star skills. Uh, links to Ben Yedder. That's nice. Martial is very good as well. Um, I think find that card to be one that I think will rise out of packs. And then basically all these guys up here in the starting 11, I think will rise at least somewhat out of packs. Any like Mbappe, I don't think will rise too much. Maybe a little bit just because he's rare. Uh, Coutinho is down a lot. This Griezmann card, I think will. I want this card for my team. I honestly want the Bale and the Griezmann for my team because they would fit perfectly, perfectly in there. Now I am not going to spend a lot of money on this Bale card. I would love to pack him, of course, but who wouldn't? Uh, I would love to pack him untradeable, but he's sitting right now at 1.9 million coins. This would be a card that if I really wanted to get him in my team, wait until team this season, he will drop as a lot of other cards with incredible stats like he has will be coming onto the game. But if you want to get invested on any of these foot birthday, birthday cards, keep a watch on the panic this weekend. Um, there's going to be some opportunities for flipping. Again, I really like the UCL live cards as well. We'll head back to Footbin to check this out for the end of the video. Um, I really like these UCL live cards. You can tell today this was a massive time, a, ma a massive panic sell right after 1900 hours. Boom, we get down here. So about an hour and a half after the 6 p.m. drop, we're down here to 124 points and it rebounds back to 130. Um, a lot of these cards have been on a roller coaster ride today. So keep your watch on these cards because some of them have games coming up here in the next, uh, in the next actually like week and a half. Uh, so Lingard, uh, Alexis Sanchez, um, Quadrado, Fabinho, some of those teams that won 
that are still in the competition. Uh, if we see some more panic tomorrow, that could definitely be an opportunity to invest on some of those cards. Um, again, focus on the ones that are in games. I know I talked about this, um, but even the ones that are not currently live cards anymore, like the ones that have been knocked out of Champions League play, those cards are going to become very good investments for Thursday flipping. As I saw this week, and I think it's going to happen in the coming weeks as well, uh, those cards are going to be very good as we consider them because they're still very good cards like the Kempembe, even the Fakir, the Nacho Fernandez. That card was on a roller coaster ride this weekend. I sold one for 70,000 coins. He's back down here now, as you saw, at, uh, at 44K. So a lot of these cards do like to fluctuate a lot, and I don't think a lot of people are talking about these which makes them very good to trade with. And honestly, we'll take a look at the, uh, a couple of these cards at one more time. They're very rare, man. They're so rare. I don't know if you guys remember the type of panic selling that there was on the market when these cards, like when Nacho Fernandez and Real Madrid lost, there were pages upon pages upon pages of this card. And now you go and you look, okay, I got to the 59th minute in five pages. That is not a lot of supply. So I don't know if a lot of people are using these cards, or if EA was putting cards on the market, whatever, during that time period. But those cards are actually pretty rare now, uh, kind of to how they were before. So we'll watch those cards for investments and watch what happens with this SBC section. I'm not going to be buying much of anything tomorrow before 6 p.m. UK time, just because I do think we're going to get a big icon either today, Saturday, or tomorrow, Sunday, for the end of the promo. Uh, maybe both days we'll get big ones, because these last couple days we've gotten big ones uh, with with Maldini and with Henri. I do think we will get a top five icon here in the next day or two. Uh, it's just kind of the way that I'm feeling. But again, high rate of golds are up. A lot of stuff is up. It's all SBC coin suck oriented right now. Um, and then we should see a rise after this weekend in the market almost everywhere. Um, as people get their coins, investors get their coins from selling these high rated golds. A lot of people were invested in them. And of course, uh, people will be looking to buy teams around the new cards that they packed or from the SBCs they did this week, coming out of the promo into what should be a no promo week of FIFA, market rebounding, um, and lots of good stuff like that. Should be a lot of coins to be made as well in this next week. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below, and uh, hopefully we get a sick icon SBC today. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.